Welcome to my opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And uh, this morning, we want to turn our attention to a story that we see on the Jamaica Loop website. And it says, a man who police said killed a 24-year-old woman four years ago and then fled the island was on Sunday, August 1st, arrested and charged just days after he was deported back in the country. The accused man has been identified as Ayele Russell of Westmoreland address, while the woman who he was accused of killing has been identified as Nadian Dwyer. Dyer, rather, also of the same parish. Reports from the Negro police are at about on June 5th, 2017, relatives reported that Dyer and her four-year-old daughter was missing. An investigation commenced and the police proceeded to the house of Dyer, where her decomposing body was found with multiple stab wounds. Reports are that on April 23, Russell left the island and traveled to the United States where he was arrested after he committed crime in that country. Four years later, Russell was deported to Jamaica on July 29 of this year. Reports are that two days after he landed on soil, a warrant was executed on him. He was subsequently charged for the murder of Dyer. His court date is being finalized. Now you see, this man was just being a natural coward he took the life of this woman Nadia and Dyer I didn't see any report as it relates what happened to the four-year-old child at the time but he took the life of Nadia and Dyer and decided to run no but they are so intoxicated with criminal behavior criminal motives that even when he ran left Jamaica and go to the United States where you think he would have tried to change his life and try to live a better life, try to make something of his life. He was caught in the midst of a life of crime. So Jamaica, a life of crime, gone to America, continue the pattern. Well, you all know that Jamaica and the United States of America are two different countries. America is much more serious as it relates to criminal activity, activities in comparison to Jamaica. Even though sometimes you'd want to think Jamaica is pretty much serious, but sometimes the actions of the persons involved suggest that they are not really serious about it. But you can't take away the seriousness about crime in America. They are really serious about it. So, Russell, Ayeli Russell, left Jamaica after killing this woman went to america and instead of trying to change his life around he went and got himself involved in criminal activities well you know what was what would bound to happen he was caught he was deported to jamaica now when he was deported to jamaica i don't know because this seemed to be sloppy to me he should have been held instantly as he came off the plane however he was held two days after. Maybe the police would come out and say to, it was a strategic move to allow him to leave and then they pounced upon him. But I, they could not say that for me to buy that because the minute he's being deported, he's under arrest. He will have to, they have to take them to a deportation center, process them before releasing them. And I think... This man should have been held the minute he got off the plane with the deportees. Anyway, never too late, he's being held and I hope the police have all the sufficient evidence against this man for killing this woman and run away from Jamaica. But, as you all know, in Jamaican language they say, long run, short catch. So, after four years, he's back in bars, behind bars in Jamaica. And I hope this woman's life will not go in vain. And I hope he won't plead guilty and his sentence is slashed 
into her. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, look out for the children, look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one. And most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.